Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. As you have started a state pro tutorial series, and uh, in our previous lecture, I have shown you that how we we'll model analysis a water tank, I mean rectangular water tank, and in this video, I'll show you that how we'll design for that. So let's start. And if you're new here, you can watch our previous video. The link are given in description. So let's start. First of all, I'll open Estat Pro software and from here I'll open our previous model. So from here I'll open previous model. Okay, this is our previous model. And if I go here, so these are post processing mode and if I go here plate and from here here a stress a stress type and if I go here apps maximum absolute then ok so here there is our model it is our model so now I'll show you that how will and from here I can see another thing that modeling sort of post processing reaction and that is our that is our base reaction here base reaction according to y x and z direction and here every value are same because our water tanker rectangle and its shape is square shape that's why so it's done so we're in modeling now we'll go for design we have to click here design then from here we have to select concrete after that we will select code so we will select the we can select any code from here according to our requirement but I am going to select SCI now from here we have to select parameter so click here select parameter and from here we have to select that 3 and FC FI okay that 5 at now and if you need any of them you can select according to code or according to country code so I'm not going to select it any of them because I'll not use any available parameters then press here okay then click here define parameters so here it's showing clear cover 0 0.125 feet 0 0.125 feet but I will give clear cover here if I calculate that I will use for plate 0 0.75 inch divided by 12 so it will be 0 0.062 0 0.062 add and for beam I will give 1 inch for beam I mean beam and column I'll provide 1 or 1.5 inch so 
from here. It's in 0 0.083. 0 0.083. Add here. This for plate. This for our beam column. Again this for our plate and this for beam column okay so we have defined that after that fc it will be as like here given you can change that according to uh, compressive strength of concrete and it should be keep per square feet money that means KSI K sorry KSF KSF your value should be in KF, KSF then add FY it also should be in KSF yield strength of main reinforcement distal so add then clause after that we'll provide the two in both here so I'll click assign to view yes after that select that assign to view yes and from here I have to select that on here and from here I will sorry I will use node cursor and from here I will select all node then I will assign to selected beam beam or plate assign then click here again select assign to select it oh, sorry okay now click here and click that plate after that select that sorry uh, we have already assigned that because uh, yeah it should be and here both um, the first one and the last one will be for our plate so we'll select plate and we'll assign to selected beam or plate then assign okay after that we'll go here we'll uh, select beam cursor and select all beam and from here I'll select that and assign to beam or plate then assign actually I have discuss that all tools in my previous video that's why I'm not going to discuss that again that's why I'm doing fast and if you're new here you can watch our previous video I think that would, yeah, it will be helpful for you sorry okay I have assigned I have assigned here or every data now we have to go here command so from here we'll design for beam add we'll design for column add and we'll design for slab or element then add close that so from here we have to define that first of all beam so for beam we have to select first of all beam from here select beams parallel to x and select from here beam parallel to Z we have selected all beams here available now assign to selected beam then assign yes after that column for column again go here select beams parallel to Y then assign to selected beam then assign yes after that design 
elements then click here and select sorry click here and select all node surround all plate then assign to selected plate assign yes so we have done everything we have done we'll delete we can delete that or that's no need to delete we can delete that command yes so we have defined all of our design requirement here and uh, also you can add according to requirement from selected parameter so I think we have done everything for our design now we'll go here analysis before that we'll go here analysis performed analysis no print okay then we'll go for analysis analysis save yes so we're seeing that our design have been done I mean our analysis have been done and there have zero error zero warning and zero note so from here we'll click a review output file then done so here is our all properties all properties are here and uh, we will click here concrete design so concrete design it's showing the wall parameter and from here we are seeing that the number of beam 3 design result here is the design result so if we see here for number 3 beams it's showing the bar required uh, two bars here yeah, two bars number four two bars from that point to that point and uh, two uh, number four two bars in bottom from 36 inch to 136 inch from that point to that point again if we go down here also this for beam number sorry beam number six this for beam number 8 this for beam number 9 like that you can found that and if we go down this for beam number 11 and from here here is the data required this is the column this is the result for column this for real of column so four four bar number seven that's have been provided and we'll see that an element there's the result for element I mean our slab result so here is the result for slab it's showing uh, top this is the top value this is the bottom value and from here you have to see that detailing carefully and if I close that so first of all I will select that column and double click so from here I'll be able to see that here number 4 bar and the bar is 7 so the 7 number bar size 7 and number of 4 bar have been provided here and required area is 2.25 then if I go here design it's also same if I go here design uh, 2.25 it's also same it's maybe also same okay now I'll go for that column it's also same it's also same so in this way you can the use of reinforcement is 1% on point zero six seven percent though that's right so for that beam this is the number of 15 beam 15 number beam and here is showing the reinforcement detailing okay so for bottom 
it's also showing the number of detailing here record detailing and if I go here the plate cursor select double click select the plate and double click and from here you can see the different parameter for the plate okay So in this way we can design our water tank so I think it's clear to you and if you have any problem then you can contact to me so the link are given in description thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video